Hey, my friends, this is Nestor, and uh, today's subject is basically, you know, brain waves, right? I, I started, you know, for a long time, I've always, I've always been interested in, you know, in the brain and how it works and how it functions. And I do believe a lot in, in energy, right? And so the energy that we provide, I do believe a lot that we're like an antenna, right? And we have, you know, these like channels that we, that we have. And sometimes, you know, I don't know if you notice when, let's say for instance, you wake up and you hit your toe on the bed, right? It hurts, right? It hurts. And so what happens after that? I mean, you, you get irritated, you get mad, and the whole day is basically ruined, right? I mean, it's, it's just one thing after another, and you just keep telling yourself, oh, man, it's just one thing after another, right? I don't know if you're experienced. I'm pretty sure you have experienced something similar to that. And what I, you know, think it, it is, and, and this is, you know, based on a lot of reading that I've done and a lot of actual experiences that I've done, it's, it's because... We, we attract, we're always attracting, we're like an antenna that we, we actually project and also attract to ourselves and different energies, right? So each mind, uh, I'm sorry, each thought that we have has a different frequency, you know, a different frequency, like kind of like a radio frequency, right? So when, we, when you tune into like a negative frequency like that, you start attracting those frequencies to, towards you because now your antenna is basically... To, to that radio station, right? And also you start sending out. So what happens is that, that as you're walking around or if you're driving or you're, you know, you're at work, any frequency that other people are sending out, you're gonna start attracting, right? So that's why you start you know, getting cut off after that. You, know, you start tripping, you start, because you, your, your, your frequency is set to that negative emotion. So if you try this, where you actually switch it to a positive, like, let's say you hit your toe on the bed and you just like switch it, you're like, oh man, I hit my toe, it hurts, but you know, let, I'm just gonna forget it, it's just an instance. It doesn't have to do anything with how my day is gonna be. And you truly believe that, you actually switch it, you'll notice that your day is actually gonna be very positive, right? And uh, I believe this in, in, in almost everything, right? But there's an, there's an instance about, uh, kind of telepathy or anything like that, but this is a story that I, I love to tell people uh, because it really happened, right? Uh, I was about 18, 19 years old, I believe, still not really in the gambling uh, age still. And one time I, I went with my dad uh, to Vegas. Actually, it was a state line. And um, and at that time, I was really practicing this stuff. You know, when I was, when I was a young guy, I mean, I was really practicing these things. I was really into it, you know, really into like mind focusing and energies and all that stuff. A little bit more than I am right now. I'm still here, but not. I, I don't practice it as much. But when we were there, I remember uh, I was just looking at my dad playing craps, the craps table. You know, he loves that craps table. And the only reason you know, I was just looking is because, you know, I, I looked old enough already. I looked over 21, but most of the time if, if I would start playing, they would start asking for a card. So I would just basically stand there and, you know, sometimes, you know, just watch my dad you know play so that's one time you know we every time we went actually I, I would always try to think positive and I would always try to you know focus and everything but this time it really worked my it was my dad's turn right and he started you know throwing that dice and I was thinking positive right I, I took that because I don't know if you know but the seven from the crafts uh, once you put a number it's actually the bad number right it craps you out well I took that number out of my my uh my brain basically and I switched myself to a, a frequency and the great thing about the craps table I don't know if you play or if you gamble is that everybody is betting on the same number so you have all these people and if you if, if, if everybody you get anybody to start thinking about the same number I, I felt it so many times and but this particular time I felt it so much everybody switched their, their channel to that channel the, the same channel that I was in and I could feel it so my dad kept throwing that dice, kept throwing that dice and kept winning, right? He would hit that number and then they would switch the number over to another one. But all throughout this process, in my mind, I, I mean, to be honest, it, for that instance, I don't know how, but I, I thought that, it, you know, that the odds were with us, that it wasn't, it was kind of impossible for that number seven to come out. Because in my mind, it was like, it didn't make sense. I, I actually was like, you know what, there's so many other numbers. There's a one, the two, the three, the four, the, the five, the 10, the 11. 
uh, the 12, I mean, it's like it's impossible within all those numbers for that seven, for that just one seven to come out, right? So, so in my mind, even though the odds are against us, but in my mind that at that particular time, I was like, there's no way. I was like, so I kept telling my dad, like, bet, 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 because I know we're going to win. So he was, you know, he was, you know, we didn't believe myself, but there was this guy, this gentleman on the side of us, right? And I know this guy believed in that same thing because he started pretty big. Uh, the... Five dollar chips are actually red, right? So he started betting fives. My dad the same thing, and all of a sudden, you know, my dad started, you know, kept on winning, kept on, and so we started getting a, a bigger crowd. So I told him, I would tell my dad, just bet. I mean, it's like I can totally sense it. I was like, just bet more. <laughs> so he started listening to me a little bit. So he started betting a little bit more. He kept going, throwing that seven. Everybody was getting all excited, right? So this gentleman over here, all of a sudden, when I saw. Um, most of his chips were actually now green and green are actually the 25 because it's after five you go to 25 dollar chips and i was like wow this guy's actually you know betting heavy you know he believed in it right so kept going kept going i was still thinking i was like so in the zone i mean i was like in the zone i mean i could totally literally feel it and then i i was like just bet that so he started a little bit higher he, some of his chips started turning to green but then this guy over here I will see he was stacking like this high, I mean like of, of chips, and, and they were all green, and then he had some in the front and some in the back, and then all the numbers, big old stacks of green. Then they started to turn uh, black, when the blacks are actually uh, 100, $100 uh, chips, because it's, you know, red, green, and then black. Well, I mean, it was awesome. We had the crowd going. We actually had people surrounding that crowd. Nobody could get in this table because everybody, it was already packed to the, you know, packed. I say, but everybody was winning. I mean, literally everybody was winning. Um, in front of it, I don't know if you if you know a little bit of the craps table. You know, there's the guy who's sitting down. Who he, he's kind of like the manager. Well, another manager came over because he was like, well, what's going on? You know, right? <clears throat> then another manager came over, and as, as this thing was happening, this guy on the the side, all of a sudden, all his chips were black. All his chips were black, and my dad's were all green, basically, right? And uh, but that's because my dad really, really didn't want to believe in me, right? So, but this guy did, you know, and I noticed, you know, and anybody was winning. But um, literally, I mean, I'm not kidding you. They had to bring two times a stack of black chips. Two times because this guy was winning so much. But two times they had to bring that stack of chips. After that third time, I mean, it, it, everybody and their mama's manager was, was back there watching us because they would think we were cheating. You know, they, I mean, they were looking around. They were like, what is going on? Because we were there for like an hour, like an hour. My dad throwing that dice that he wasn't losing, man. He wasn't losing at all. I mean, I was, I was just like, but in, still in my mind, it was like, there's no way I don't see, I don't see it losing. I don't, I don't see us losing, man. Just bet. I was like, just bet, you know? And well, um, after a while, you know, it kind of sucked because then the manager kind of like pinpointed me. He saw me because I was like really concentrated. I mean, you, you could see it in my face that I was concentrating, right? And, and this guy totally like started looking at me and I'm like, oh man, you know, it's like they kind of like are looking at me, right? So <clears throat> then all of a sudden they, you know, they started looking at me more and more and more and I was like kind of like getting distracted and until they asked for my ID. They're like, may I see your ID? And that's when I was like, I got so mad. I was like, oh my God, these guys, this and that. So I took up my ID and I, you know, I know they were gonna kick me out. I took out my ID and, I, and, and, and at that moment, I was like, oh man, and, and I was just like, the seven is coming. The seven is coming, this is over. I threw my ID in the table, boom, my dad threw the last dice, boom, the seven came, <laughs> and the run was over, man. After that, you know, we took out the money. Uh, it was funny because the guy on the side actually gave all the other colors, like the, um, whatever he liked, he had left over of like um, reds and greens, he just gave it to my dad, it was like, like, I don't know, like a couple of hundred bucks, you know, but that, that guy made like, I mean, close to like 20 grand that night, plus everybody else. I mean, that night, the casino lost, <laughs> but uh, <coughs> I mean, even if you believe me or not, it's a great story. I love telling it because it did happen. I mean, and uh, you can ask my dad, you can ask, like, I, I think my mom was there too or something, but that was a, an awesome night. I mean, I've been trying to recreate that night and sometimes we kind of get there, but you know, we can't pass that, you know, like that 15, 20 minute uh, line. Uh, but, uh, but man, for like an hour like or so, I think a little bit more actually, we, we had that big run. But I just wanted to let you know that energy and positiveness and that channel works. I mean, I 
that's one of the biggest stories that I've had. But I have, I mean, I have so other, so many others where I actually like, you know, proven it. And I actually proven it with some of my friends, you know, where we sit down and we had to, I tell them what to do and, and, and it works. So, I mean, even if you think I'm crazy right now, you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to look at this, this person's video. Hey, that's okay. You know, that's okay. You know, I, I'm, I'm not trying to prove, you know, anything to anybody. I'm not trying to, you know, impress anybody. I just want to give some value to the community and let you know that when you hear about positiveness and negativeness and, you know, switching the channels and then you hear any of this stuff, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. And if you start studying it and if you start experiencing it, you'll see it even more and more. But with that, guys, I'm, I'm so glad you stayed to the end of this video. I mean, I don't know, maybe some other people already shut it down, but Thank you guys for joining me. This is Nestor. I'll see you in the next video. I'll try to get another better story than this one, but catch you later. Bye.